This webinar is brought to you by Lifestyle Hub Asset Model Powered by The Hub Academy Uh, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. All right. So I really thank you uh, for creating time to join me this evening. And of course, I'm trust we are all going to get a lot of value. Okay, a whole lot of value this evening uh, from today's conversation. So I thank you so very much. Okay. And of course, I've got beside me this evening my baby. Okay, it's a four terrace, a four bedroom terrace plus apartment. You know, it's been said that if you desire something. Put it in picture form, okay? Okay, so I, I see this every day. Anytime I step, uh, step into the office, okay, I, I always see this uh, 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 lifestyle of model. Anything in life you desire, put it in picture form, okay? And take a look at it every day. For example, I desire this four bedroom terrace apartment, okay? It's a luxury apartment, okay? Okay, I've got one in my office right now. And of course, I've got one right in my living room at home. So every day I get to see this very model. I get to see this very picture. And you know what it does for me? It helps me to keep focus, okay? Knowing that come November, when Lifestyle Asset of Limited is giving out keys to proud qualifiers, okay? Abioye will also be one of them. <laughs> everybody wants something good, okay? But the question is that, is everybody ready to work for something good? That's another question entirely. Okay, very good. I'm glad we've got a quorum, so I've got to start right away. You know, in the workplace environment, in the business field, okay, it's very tough out there, okay? And there is a particular skill that every one of us needs to succeed, okay? You know, typically in the workplace or in the marketplace, there are different skills we all need to succeed. Okay, now let me ask you, of all these 10 skills I'm about to read out, which one do you think is more important? Okay, number one, teamwork. Okay, sales, leadership, communication, problem solving, initiative and enterprise, planning and organization, self-management, okay, analyzing and investigation skills, flexibility, time management, 11 of them. Which one do you think is more important? Okay, which one? Is it teamwork? Is it leadership? Is it sales? Is it communication? Is it problem solving? Is it time management? Okay, is it analyzing or investigation skill? Which one do you think is more important? Okay. And I know some of us, we have different thoughts in our mind, but I will say to you, okay, research has shown that of all these skills I just read out, communication skills is the most important of all the skills. I remember um, June 2012, I got married and I received a lot of gifts, okay, TV, different different gifts, just name it. And I was so glad. And my boss, okay, Bishop Barrow, okay, um, gave me a very interesting gift. He gave me a box. Okay, in that box, I saw communication skills <laughs> for couples. You know, trust me, I just threw it somewhere. And I said, oh, of all the gifts I was expecting for my boss, look at what he gave to me. Trust me, it was two years, okay, two years into my marriage, and I realized the power and the importance of such gifts. He gave to me. Okay. And this evening, I'll be talking to us about effective communication. It's very key. Sometimes we think it's not important. Trust me, it is absolutely very important for us to understand the dynamics of effective communication. Okay. So now there is an aspect because communication skills or teaching communication skill is something that is very deep. Okay. It's very deep. And of course, I just want to focus on a small aspect of communication skills this evening, okay? And which is the aspect of giving feedback, okay? Most quarrels in the workplace are simply because of ineffective feedback, okay? When you are giving feedback to your boss, to your colleague, or to your subordinate, don't be judgmental. Most people give judgmental feedback. And at the end of the day, it typically leads to what? Serious quarrel, okay, beefing, politics, and all that, okay? But I would like to introduce to you a very simple to apply principle to effective feedback, 
okay? And it's a model designed by a man I mentioned earlier. So I'm not the original author of this model. This guy designed this model. It's called the SBI model. The SBI model for effective feedback was originally designed by Bishop Barrow. Uh, by the way, Bishop Barrow has got a very unique initiative. It's called Get Involved Initiative. Okay, and I want to encourage those of you listening to me right away uh, to please check out the website. It's called Get Involved. Okay, Get Involved Nigeria.org. Get Involved Nigeria.org. And you might just want to get involved in what is happening uh, in our society and providing your own solutions. Okay, it, we are, we, is, we've done enough of complaining. Okay, it's not time for us to get to action. So back, back to the SBI model. Now, you know, I always say to you that once we come life like this, I always like you to have your peace square with you. What is peace square? Your pen and your paper. I've got mine. Okay, your pen and your paper. So, and I really need you to jot along. Don't, don't do mental jotting because trust me, you'll forget almost everything. So SBI model for effective feedback. The S there stands for situation. Okay. S for situation, B for behavior, I for impact, okay? S for situation, B for behavior, I for impact, okay? So what that simply means is that once you want to give a feedback to somebody, either in the workplace, in the marketplace, your colleagues, your subordinates, or even your bosses, it's just important for you to focus on three things. Number one, the situation. Number two, the behavior. And number three, the impact. In addition to what I do as a consultant, I'm a proud network marketing professional. Okay. And most leaders typically scatter their teams by the way they give feedback to their team members, for example. Okay. Whereby you just judge them. But when you focus on the situation, the behavior, and the impact, you will be able to focus, okay, on what? On getting or driving understanding. But the whole essence of communication is to create understanding. Without understanding, nobody will buy from you. Without understanding, your colleagues will not do what you desire them to do. Okay, it's very key. So effective communication is at the heart of our success, either as a business people or as workplace professional. So let me give a quick case study. Let's say you are the line manager of Chidi, for example. Okay, and from the CCTV camera on your laptop, you saw Chidi and a client um, exchanging words, for example, okay? And you discover that Chidi was talking to the client in, in a very abusive manner, okay? And you got very angry. And you even notice that that client was one of your most important clients, okay? You know, uh, my friends, I, I would like to do something very strange. You know, before I started this live broadcast, you know, when you're alive, different things could just happen, you know? Uh, I was feeling so cold, but, you know, I'm sure because I was talking to very intelligent people and and suddenly I'm feeling so sweaty. Okay, it's been a very rainy day in, in Abuja. Chidi, please come, come around, come around, please. Okay, so let me pull this up. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. Now, you know when you are alive, anything can happen, right? Okay, now I think I'm I'm fine. I feel more relaxed. So I'm I'm in front of my friend. So let's so let's do this together. Now, very good. Now, um, now one interesting thing about communication is that do something that gives you uh, the, 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 the comfort you desire. Okay, like for example, before I go live, before I went live, okay, I was feeling pretty cold. Okay, but guess what? Because I started communication, I could feed the it. Okay, the mentor is, a friend of mine was telling that, Abir, do you know that you burn more fat, okay, through mental work than physical work? You know, I thought he was joking, really. Okay, very good. Now, I'm back, and of course, let's talk about the SBI. So you spotted Chidi, and he was talking to a client in a very abusive manner. Okay, now, what do you do as a line manager? Do you just go to Chidi and say, Chidi, how dare you? How dare you talk to Mrs. Abdullah that way? She's one of our most important clients. You know, what university did you even go to? Okay, you children of nowadays, you are so dumb. I saw the way you were talking to him. And you know, Chidi is an adult. Okay, and he could get angry, of course, he might not be able to ventilate his anger because you are the boss. Okay, but that way you have not solve anything. You just went to, of course, what you did was not so good, but it's not your duty to judge. Okay, all you just need to do is to focus on what the situation, the behavior, and the impact. Whereby you focus on the situation. Oh, Chidi, few minutes ago, I saw you speaking with Mrs. Abdullah 
in uh, okay a few minutes ago i saw you speaking with mrs abdullah that is the situation and i observed that you spoke to her in a tone she never liked that's the behavior and the impact of that is that she has gotten angry and she has left and she might give us a very bad review come this time next month you and i might not even have our jobs again okay and you step off chidi by, by that moment if chidi is a rational human being trust me he's going to think and say wow what i did was bad okay because have you judged chidi no you've not but you've simply pointed out the situation you've told him his behavior and you've also told him the impact of the behavior that the impact is not just about making mrs abdullah angry but because mrs abdullah might say expose us or report us to to the ceo and the ceo might just do what get us what sat okay that's one case study let me give another case study maybe spouse okay you and your spouse you went on a party okay and your spouse spoke to you in a manner you never liked for example okay and what do you do you get back home and you get angry at your spouse maybe like maybe your husband for example oh of all the men i've dated in my life nobody have ever spoken to me that way you are just a typical african man okay you don't even know how to talk to your wife in public you simply embarrassed me and you know men with that ego and before you know it it could escalate to something else but all you just need to do is just focus on the situation and the behavior and the impact oh sweet that when we were at wireless party okay i you spoke to me in a manner that hurts me that is a behavior okay and the impact is that your friends were there and they might never respect me again as your wife trust me if your husband is a rational thinking human being it will feel very bad that oh what i did to my wife was not good and vice versa it could be the wife or the husband giving the wife the feedback so at the in the final analysis okay this situation the SBI model simply supports us to simply focus on three things, okay? One is what? The situation, the behavior, and the impact. And I hope you can go back and internalize this and see how you can give a better and more effective feedback to your colleagues at work tomorrow, okay? So I want to thank you for creating time to listen to me this afternoon. I hope you've been able to derive some value Communication is key. It's at the heart of our success in the workplace and in the marketplace. So please don't forget the model. It's called the SBI model. Okay, so when you are giving out feedback, just simply focus on the situation, the behavior, and the impact. And finally, I would like to recommend a book for every one of us to please buy. Okay, buy this book. You'll find it very useful. And those of us that have the book already, please read it. This book is authored by John C. Maxwell. Is called Everyone Communicates, but Few Connect. Okay? Everyone communicates, but few connect. Okay? I have the book summary of this. If you want me to share the book summary with you, just send me an email and I'll reply with a PDF um, form at no cost. Okay? Free. Free. Okay? We are friends now. Why should I charge you? <laughs> okay? So just send me an email and I will send you the, um, the book summary. Uh, for everyone communicates but few connect by John C. Maxwell. This book practically changed my life. It helped me to communicate better with people. It helped me to connect uh, better with people. As a matter of fact, it even helps me to, con to communicate even more and better with myself. Because don't mind me, I communicate with myself a whole lot. Okay? So the title of the book again is Everyone Communicates but Few Connect by, by John C. Maxwell. But if you want me to share, uh, the, uh, the PDF format of this book summary with you, just send me an email. My email is abioe, abioe at lifestyleassethub.com. Okay? Abioe at lifestyleassethub.com. Okay? Abioe at lifestyleassethub.com. So that's my email address. Just um, send me an email at abioe. Please share uh the, the ebook everyone communicates feel connect by john c maxwell then right this evening or tomorrow i'll share with you so at this point i really want to thank you uh for listening to me this evening it was i must really thank you guys you know what? you just made my day you just killed the code in me before i started this conversation okay now i feel so heated up okay so i want to encourage you to please ensure you plan for tomorrow tonight okay plan from tomorrow tonight use your day planner and plan 
and trust me, you end up getting more pro pro uh, you get more productive uh, by tomorrow, clients. Right? So at this point, I really want to thank you, and of course, um, uh, it promises to be a great time. I always say to people, this is indeed the best time to be alive. Okay, so I really want to thank you uh, for this opportunity. For me, it's always a great pleasure. I should be one thank you, you're not you thanking me, trust me, because you've just given me opportunity to learn. You know why? You learn faster when you teach. So if I've made some sense to you this evening, what I just need you to do is that just call your colleagues tomorrow and just simply teach them the SBI model for effective feedback. Trust me, your friends will appreciate you more and they will thank you. So at this point, I really want to thank you for this opportunity and feel free to share the replay with your friends. And of course, together, we we'll achieve more. Don't forget, plan for tomorrow, tonight. Use your day planner. Thank you so very much. God bless you all.